a good consultation has to be a good exchange of information between both the patient and the doctor. The doctor certainly has a lot of information that he has to convey to the patient, but on the other hand, it's important to get a complete medical history ahead of time so that we have an understanding for safety and then clearly identify the desires of the patient and whether that's achievable. The other side is a patient you need to look at is if everything is not perfect, how is that going to be handled? And if I have more concerns down the line, what's the reputation of this practice? Are they going to take care of me or are they going to keep me to the curb? Usually you'll want to see some before and after pictures that that surgeon could provide so that you can see well, you know, this is not this guy's first rodeo or this doctor's first operation and you want to make sure that what their ideal aesthetic really meets your eye as well. Definitely do your research ahead of time. Board certification is so important. You have to have someone who's board certified by the American Board of Plastic Surgery. Finally then, I think you want to get a financial assessment. Now, there are two components to that. Certainly the cost of the surgery is one, but the other is what is an honest recovery? Is the recovery going to be a week, a couple days? Is it going to be more long term where you might be out of commission if you have a, a if you have a social kind of a job? You certainly don't want to short what is a, a reasonable uh, expectation on the recovery. So there's certainly two costs there that need to be discussed.